I cried shamelessly in the public. Guys, I lost this box with all these products. Inside of this box. I closed from work on Saturday evening about um, 6, 6.30. I was going home so I bought a vehicle from my bus stop to the second bus stop where I'm supposed to get a vehicle to my house directly. But, guys, I will be filling in my brows using the Blood Cosmetics in Cork. Guys, I like to concentrate while getting my brows done. I don't take your outline to the beginning of the brows at the top so you can have that natural finish so with my angled brush from Yanga Beauty Flat Veg I'll be highlighting my brows using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Warm Honey I'll be blending using the NK 18 brush from Vika Bell just last week I got to know that this brush is the bomb and I love it I always want to highlight the top of your brows using a foundation a skin shade guys we are good with our brows I've already prepped my skin I'll be using the Noban Beauty my skin foundation in W7 and L4 for my skin this is your sample size so guys the first vehicle i entered when i got to the bus stop where i was supposed to highlight and then take another uh, cap to my house i don't know if it was actually my fault or the driver's fault i i can't really see or maybe that was how it was just meant to happen i got down from the vehicle and i gave him 500 naira. i told him to give me my balance and he was like i don't have your balance so the vehicle that was beside me was almost filled up my attention was now in the vehicle that i i want to board and also in the balance that i'm supposed to collect but in a way i feel the delay was for a purpose for finally it came up with my balance when i got there i noticed that there were a lot of other vehicles packed waiting to go to the same direction and i was like why was i even hurrying in the first place when i was still there with him his own vehicle was already filled up i went to the vehicle that i'm i'm boarding i entered i sat down for almost 10 to if not 15 minutes <laughs> it was like a dream all this while i'm not even thinking of my box i had a backpack i don't know if it's because of the backpack but this is not the first time i'm carrying my box home what happened the car got filled up and we started our journey so the person that was sitting next to me her phone ran was it ran down or the phone just went off on its own and she was complaining and i felt where she was going to because of the way she was acting she doesn't really know her way around so I was concerned that let this girl not go and fall into the wrong hands. So I used this instead to mix the Noban Beauty because the L4 is finished. Just use this in 336 warm bronze. I hope that will match my skin because I feel it really not my shade. But I'm going to see how this is going to play out. And my concentration was now on the girl. She said that she would please call her lines so she could be sure if the phone is actually switched off or is something that is wrong with it i was concentrating asking her if the phone is up so like five to eight minutes into our journey boom i was like jesus and everybody in the car screamed what happened i said my box <laughs> my box everybody was kind of confused say your box is it box of clothes? I said no. I'm a makeup artist. My makeup box. I left it in the vehicle. The driver was kind of confused. Is it? He was like, "Is it my vehicle you left the box?" I said no. The vehicle I just entered. He said, "Is there money inside?" Because I, at a point, I was like, "Jesus, my money." 
like you, <laughs> you know when you just sum up sum up all the products in your box and you just know that a huge sum of money has gone that was what was in my head ah god i do not know if i'm to blame myself or if it's the driver that was delaying me i don't even know what i was doing anymore i didn't know when i started crying i cried shamelessly in the public i started trying to call my friends and my family that look at what happened to me i noticed i wasn't having call card i said okay let me recharge from my bank my eyes was clouded with tears i went and recharged someone else's phone <laughs> I didn't even know that I retried someone else's phone. I kept trying numbers and numbers was not connecting. They were telling me I'm out of call card. But I just recharged. But my attention was not just there. My attention was in my box. I was just screaming. Oh my god. What did I do like this? I could not have forgotten my box. Of everything. I was crying. People in the vehicle were like, so sorry. Sister, don't cry. Cry will not bring back the box. I just pray you see, uh, the sorry was not even getting me anywhere. I don't pray this kind of thing to happen to anybody. Someone will say, don't worry, the person might bring it. This one, I say bring it, where, how? This is somebody that, that has never seen me before. This is somebody that don't know me and I, my, my contact is not on the box. So how is he going to see me like? All what they were saying just seemed so impossible. I was crying. Finally, my sister called me and I was like, I couldn't even talk. She said, what's the problem? I said, my box. She didn't understand what I was saying. She said, what? I said, my box. Say, what box? I said, my makeup box. What happened to it? I lost it. I left it in the very quiet and My box. I don't know how I managed to leave it. Almost all my products are inside the box. How will I find it? What kind of mistake did I do like this? Pardon this foundation. The undertone is a lot yellowish. So I was supposed to add a white undertone to balance up. That was why I wanted to use the L4 that is finished. With the Bika Bell brush in NK9, I'm going to be applying uh, Ferrarusi concealer underneath my eyes. I'm using a lighter shade at the inner corner of my eyes. So I'm going to leave this to dry down a bit. I use this for my contour, the area where the driver that was with my box was going was the route that I'm supposed to follow to my house. It was almost 8 p.m. So I was like, where am I going to see this person? I was confused. And do you know one funny thing? I think I even noticed a guy that was inside the vehicle and he was so quiet and so calm about the whole thing like I'm not saying he should have carried me on his head but you know when you feel like someone is trying to play tricks on you the attitude he portrayed was exactly like that at that point I did not even reason it that way because later when I got home that I was like, ah, but that guy didn't even say anything. Maybe, I don't know, maybe in his head he thought we were 419ers or maybe I was a 419. <laughs> I don't even understand what he was thinking in his head, Sha. But yeah, that guy was so quiet throughout till I came down from the vehicle. There's a girl that saw me and she told me, sister, don't worry, God will help you, you see it so sorry i understand exactly how you feel my sister is a makeup artist and now makeup products are so expensive i understand exactly how you feel they were just saying so so many different things like in my head these people don't even know what i'm going through right now but i felt a little bit relieved when the girl told me that thing she understands at least a little of what i'm going through at the moment i took myself home I was just talking to myself, I was like, God, you know how I've struggled all this while, you know how I've stressed to build my makeup box to this point, how could you have allowed me to forget my box? Like, you know when you are quarreling God, I see he's the one that says, oh yeah, forget your box. 
<laughs> if you are not a Nigerian, a youth service corps is to serve your country. So during that one year that I did my youth service, I, I did not spend a damn on myself. Okay, I think I bought a slippers that wasn't even worth it. The girl showed me something I saw and she brought something else and already I've paid her part of the money. I just gave her the balance so it won't look like I'm trying to bring down her business. I never liked it. I wore it once and it got spoiled. The rest of my alawi, it's called, we call it alawi, it's an allowance that is paid to you every month for serving your country. I was among the sets that they increased the allowance from, is it from 20, was it up to 20, 19.8, yeah, to 33,000 naira. So I was happy and glad that I was among the set that they increased the allowance. All my money was going into makeup products. Only for me to come and throw my box away. Just in one day, I could not sleep. I said, God, help me. Let me see this person. He should be a good person. He should even be looking for me as well. And guys, the next morning, as early as 5, I was already in the bathroom. I dressed up and hit the road. Guys, I went to the first bus stop where I usually pick vehicle to my workplace. I, I told them because they have like a transport union where in case something like that happens, you'll be able to go there and lay your complaints and if they know the driver they will tell the driver to bring your property to you the worst part of it was that the place the bus stop i entered the vehicle from was not a park so there is nothing like union in that park nobody knows him <gasps> my worries boom 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 was just increasing by the minute god one of the drivers in the park that I went to at first, he told me that hmm, he even showed me something that somebody forgot in his car. For over three months, the person has not come back to pick it. And I'm sure the person does not even know where he left that um, thing. He explained to me that if it was here, that I would have seen my, my box as soon as possible because they know all the drivers in the park. My eyes was red. I said, God. So this is how I came to this life to suffer. <laughs> I was just talking to myself. But I was telling God, how could you? <laughs> could you? I said, it's God that told me, I leave your box there. God. I was worried. I was angry. I was everything. I was furious. I was pained. Oh God. Guys, I sat underneath my eyes with the air spawn translucent setting powder. I'm going to be setting the whole of my face using the V Beauty um, powder palette. I'm using the Bianca and Sweet Honey. The drivers that I met at the park where I went to first explained to me how I was going to go about it. He told me to go to the place where he was taking people to. Maybe he would go to the union there and report to them that someone forgot something in his um, vehicle. So I went there. The union people themselves were not even there because it was on a Sunday morning and as early as 7 I was there already. So they said the union people don't even come on a Sunday and that if at all someone forgot something that if the person does not load from their own pack it means i cannot find the thing there that i should go to where i entered the vehicle from or probably i should go to where the the pack where i forgot the box from there i moved so i was like how am i even going to communicate with these people they don't understand english i have to speak outside and i don't know how to speak outside fluently i i cannot i understand though but how to open my mouth and say something is always my problem i met some of the union guys those ones i saw there was the ones that would just you know help the drivers to 
uh, call passengers and load their vehicle. That was the people I met there. I met the first one, I spoke to him. He was like, okay, go meet the other person. I went there, the guy was, oh gosh. He was smoking and pouring it on my face. I was just like, I said, God, what did I do like this? If not, would this guy pour cigarette on my face while talking to me? He wasn't even concentrating. And God just sent somebody. He was trying to load his vehicle as well. He just came. What are you looking for? I said, I forgot my box in the vehicle. In this very bus stop yesterday. He said, okay, climb, follow the pedestrian bridge, go to the other side of the road, check, you see union office there. Go there and talk to them. I said, thank you, sir. Thank you. He just saved the sister. Going into this eyeshadow for my transition, use this first, apply that on my crease. I got to their union office. In fact, they were not even there. So I was talking to someone and another person just came from behind and was like, what was the problem? I explained everything. So he took me to the vice chairman of the union. I spoke with him. He said, okay, I should drop my contact so that if the person happens to come or if they ask drivers around there and it happens that it's any of them that they are going to call me so i dropped my contact the person that met me first there he said uh, that he will advise that i go to the place where i entered the vehicle the first thing he said that he prays that he's a good person that if he's a good person that he's going to bring the box to where he picked the person from. I was the person that put the box in his boat. My fear was this person might not even know who owns the box. And he might try to ask his passenger and if somebody that knows the worth of that box alone by seeing it, the person might claim the box. That was another problem that was in my head. When I spoke with my sister, my sister was like, I just pray that a passenger don't claim the box oh god my fears increased because it was just exactly how i thought it. god look at all my efforts all my stress everything will go in one day okay so long story cut short my sister called that we should meet at one of the bus stops at Guarimpa. So if you are in Abuja or in Nigeria, maybe you've heard of Guarimpa before. So I went to Guarimpa Junction or bus stop rather. That was where we came up with the solution that we have to be looking at the driver's faces to see if any of the, uh, them will actually fit the description I gave. At this point, I was left with no option. We were trying to, you know, get to a radio station where they are doing any program. If, huh? if at all we could reach out to them, that I forgot my box inside a taxi, and in case the person is listening right now, please, you should return it to the radio station. Guys, we tune to radio stations. Everybody was playing music because it was on a Sunday morning. Some were doing church service and all of that. Like, there was no radio station that was doing any program at that time. I was not myself. My sister was like, okay, let's just hold on. We waited at Guarimpa bus stop for hours. Like, since morning, I got there, my sister and I, we waited and waited. My sister had to drag me. Let's go home. Let's go and rest. Just go and put your head small and see how you can sleep. Hmm. Finally, we went to sleep. Okay. I'll be using this Casablanca, the bronze gold shade here from Juvia's Place Eyeshadow Palette in uh, Masquerade for my lid. I feel I should put something a little bit lighter around here let's try this geezer and see how that will look i just want something a little bright here this is like a very light shimmery shade i could not sleep when we got home my head was processing a whole lot of things guys i almost forgot something guys where we were in the morning trying to look at our driver's faces 
all of a sudden like my sister just peeped and i was like this one the amoeba spirit in her will not allow her to focus <laughs> though she didn't even know the driver she she was like any vehicle she sees with that is a painted taxi she would be like have you checked this one we were just like that when she said peeping i was like this girl i don't know what you're looking at though but she was actually looking at something that was very very serious all of a sudden i started hearing jesus jesus and i peeped up as well i saw a woman holding a child the sh child was shaking like he's a teenager and my sister was like how could all of you be there i'm looking at her and struggling as if she's acting a movie immediately we rushed to the woman to help her with the with her son that was when some men now knew that they were supposed to come and assist the woman and i was like this world is getting to a level where you see somebody dying and nobody cares at that very point i forgot what was worrying me i was just like god just help her because if it's if it's just us here we cannot do anything finally the boy was calm he was able to you know stand a little bit the guy and the mom just put their hands around him and took a vehicle and i don't know if they took him home at that period like after they left i was telling my sister do you know for a period i didn't even remember that we came here to look for a box like that boy's life was more important than anything so she was not like you see you even forgot that you came to look for something and you were seriously helping someone to survive i said Top. so she was trying to encourage me that you know even if we did not see the box even if we couldn't we can't find the man i should not worry we'll be able to we'll definitely buy the things i was just looking i was just focusing on the road and i was using one ear to listen to her in my mind i see this girl <laughs> <coughs> you don't know what you are saying i'm going to see that box i had a lot of hopes though my hope was so high up there like i was saying we were now at home she literally forced me for us to go home so i could get some rest because she knew that i never i did not sleep like this she said please let's go home so that you eat have you eaten i say eat care when my box is missing we stayed at home for like two to three hours i was like please 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 let's go back let's go back to the road so we got back to the road in the evening but this time we didn't go back to guarimpa bus stop we went to another bus stop where a lot of vehicles are passing like they once it's taxi you see them following that route so we're standing we we're watching we we're looking we we're, oh god so about six o'clock we now left there and went to the to the main bus stop where i took the vehicle from so i'll be highlighting my cheekbones using this highlighter from noban beauty i don't know why i'm doing this today without spraying my face as we were at the junction still waiting hours and hours my sister turned inspirational speaker out my head <laughs> she was just inspiring me with her inspirational speech don't worry if we did not see it we are going to buy another one and I'm, in my head I was like God I just want to buy my box I've been building this box for almost four years guys imagine the product inside my sister was saying God you've been doing it for people I've been hearing people's testimony how you do this how you did that God please do it for us do it for us today when she finished um we like call it lamentation or begging god to do it for us she will now turn and be like okay you know uh, can you remember one of the supermarket that got burnt down the person the owner of the supermarket could not pick a thing from it i know that is so painful i know that your product is expensive yes but imagine what somebody went through for a whole building of a supermarket to burn down 
and a pin was not picked. I was like, mm. like in my head, I was like, mm. anything that God wants to do, let him do it all. But God, please answer my prayer. I want this box. Me that I've been praying that God should give me money so that I'll, I'll, I'll buy more things to add to what I have. And now the box itself is getting missing with almost all my products. Where will I start? That morning, my mom saw me. She was pitying me. She was like, don't worry. God that helped you to get this one he will help you to get even a better one. my friend's mom called he was like she was like don't worry i've been praying for you ever since your friend told me that this is what happened don't worry you will find the box i said amen amen i need to find this box spray my face for the last time to set my whole face okay so as we were standing by the road focusing on the express looking at cars every taxi that is passing behold a taxi parked beside us i didn't even pay attention to that taxi parked there my eyes were still on the road looking all of a sudden i just turned and i'm like this person is looking like the vehicle i entered when i approached the the vehicle my sister was like but it doesn't fit the description you gave let me just talk to the guy so when I was trying to look at his face, he now came down. So I don't know if he was actually looking for the owner of the box or he was there for his passenger. I walked towards him and I asked, sorry, did anybody uh, forgot something like a bag or box in your car yesterday? It was like me. I said, I don't know, but I forgot something in in a vehicle like this like a, a taxi like this yesterday you now ask is it this car i said i'm not sure i don't know if it's this car but it looks like this he said hey, my brother said hey! when i heard my brother somebody left something hey i proceeded uh, where is your brother uh, he's he's not here now he now asked me how does the box looks like i said it's a black box he just told me okay come inside the vehicle let's go to this uh, an nyc camp junction immediately i didn't even argue like i didn't ask why sharp sharp my sister said are you sure it's the person i said enter and i was trying to check the the seat at the front because the the front of the seat had one something one thing like a foam so i was trying to see if the foam is actually there so already somebody was at the front of the seat normally taxis like that they usually take two persons at the front i couldn't see it my sister kept asking me from the back is it the one i said yes like i was answering confidently yes but deep down inside of me i was saying i don't know but i wasn't saying yes so finally when the guy now asked me he said what time did you enter the car yesterday i said by this time last night boom this guy said i'm the one <laughs> i could not contain my joy even when i've not even seen the box i was so happy at least somebody has finally agreed that yes i have something in my boots that does not belong to me and i don't know who owns it hey god i was so excited my sister kept asking are you sure are you sure it's the one i say yes it's the one we got to the bus stop i came down immediately when i i looked straight up look at my baby look at my baby looking at me my box was right there looking at me like this i could not contain my job just that my sister is bigger than me i could not jack her up i couldn't raise her the way i hugged her like this i pressed her to my I could not contain my joy after crying and crying. My God, I was so excited. One man that came down from the vehicle as well was like, you mean you forgot this thing inside this box? I said, yes. And inside this taxi, I said, yes. Say ha, God is good though. She started praising God. I said, hmm, God is wonderful. I cannot even thank him enough. Where would I have started to go and start buying things again? Ha. The man said, please, I want to learn makeup. <laughs> I got a student right here and then. 
I got my box back. God gave me double, double for my stress. <sighs> it's God not wonderful. I cannot even express how excited I was. You know when you are so happy that you cannot express it, you are just like this. Like this. So this actually came back to me. That was how I was able to get my box back and everything is intact. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you are excited about this look, please let me know down in the comment section. And if you are new here, please subscribe, join the family so you get updated whenever we post new videos. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned, stay blessed and stay beautiful till I come your way next time. Bye guys.